Hi everybody, welcome to the first section in differential equation. In this section, it is just background and introduction to differential equation. All right. Uh, so, uh, what we have is uh, whether we have uh, differential equation. So, we suddenly we have an equation. Uh, so, on for the equation, we may have y equal to something. In this case, we say y is a function of x. So x is the independent variable, and y is the dependent variable, meaning that y depends on x. Or we can also write x is equal to cube root of y minus y. In that case, y is the ind independent variable, and x is the dependent variable. So x depends on y. So from the equation, we can uh, determine which one is uh, dependent, which one is independent. Now, when the equation that has the derivative in it, of course, with the derivative in it, we have a uh, differential equation. So uh, if we have the derivative in in this context, it's clearly when we write y prime, uh, y is a function of x. So when we write like this, suddenly we know y is a function of x. Of course, when we see the equation that has derivative in it, uh, depends on the notation. We should be able to know which one is dependent, which one is independent variable. All right. Uh, def definition of differential equation. Uh, an equation that has derivative in it is a differential equation. And so, to be more precise, uh, so we have to have the derivative of one or more unknown function. So the differential equation we solve for a function, and it has to have derivative in it. Uh, with respect to one or more independent variables, so we may have more than one independent variables and more than one dependent variable. But when we solve for the dependent variables, uh, those function, or maybe equation, a solution to the differential equation. Right. Now we will classify differential equation. So there will be different types, and uh, we can classify in different way. First, uh, classify by the type. Uh, the type there will be uh, ordinary differential equation and partial differential equation. Uh, ordinary differential equation is the equation only one independent variable. So we only have one variable, one independent variable. That is called ordinary differential equation. Uh, so here we have y is a function of x, all of them. Or uh, here uh, we have y and x as a function of t. So in here we have two dependent variable x and y, but the independent variable t is only one independent variable t. So this is considered ordinary differential equation. So we have to have one independent variable for it to be ordinary differential equation. A partial differential equation is where we have two or more independent variables. So in this case, we have x and y are independent variables. So u depends on x and y. So here we have u as a function of x and y. So two independent variables. The equation is partial differential equation. Also here, uh, we have u is a function of x and t. So that also two independent variables. So it is a partial differential equation. Right. Of course, in the notation, we can see this is just a regular derivative. This is the partial derivative. Right. Uh, so we can classify differential equation by the type. And the type depends on how many independent variables we have. Next, uh, we can classify differential equation by orders. Uh, the orders is the order of the highest derivative in the equation. So that is the order of the highest derivative. So on this one, 
we have this one has the third derivative that is the highest so we call that a third order this is the second derivative and we call that the second order differential equation yeah this one is the highest order yeah, we're not focused on the power of y here. That's irrelevant. We're talking about the order of the derivative. And the third derivative, third order, second derivative, second order, because of the highest derivative. All right. And then uh, next we can classify the equation as uh, linear or not linear. So an n order ordinary differential equation is said to be linear if we only have y, y prime, y second prime, meaning that we have, we may have derivative, a bunch of derivatives or function, but it cannot be raised to any power or any function. So let's look at some example. Now let's just focus on the y, uh, the dependent variable, and on the derivative. So here we have y prime y and that's it so this is linear right now we have the second derivative the first derivative and the function yeah just focus on the depend uh, the dependent variable and on the derivative so you see all of that doesn't raise to any power or doesn't have any derivative if we have a square here it is not linear or we have a cube it is not linear or we may have cube root square root or anything so we only have anything to the first power so owner of the function and owner of the derivative of the dependent variable raised to the first power everything then it is linear All right let's look at the second part now this one we have second derivative to the first power, so that one's good. This one, because of the square here, this is not linear, right? So that's why it doesn't work because of the square. And next, when we have the power here for the derivative, it doesn't work either. So that's why it's non-linear. Also, we cannot have sine of y. It's not linear either. We can only have y, y prime, y double prime, on the function uh, and the derivatives raised to power only. Because the graph, think about the, the graph of a linear function. Uh, we may have y equal to 2x, which is fine. But if it is x squared, the graph is parabola. So it's not a linear, it's not a line. Uh, y equal to sine x. That is not a line. So those functions are not, this function are not linear. But when we talk about linear uh, differential equation, it has to be in terms of y only. x is irrelevant. We not focus on uh, the x. As you see, we not uh, look at any of that. Just on the y itself. Bottom line is. We have y, y prime, y double prime, but it cannot raise to any power, cannot have any trig function or any function, or the function than the linear function, meaning to the first power. All right, let's, let's uh, apply this classification into this example. All right, this equation, uh, classify the following differential equation. So that one, uh, independent variable, we see y prime, we know y prime, y double prime meaning y is the dependent variable so x is the independent variable and y is the dependent variable because of that notation and we don't have partial derivative one independent variable so this is ordinary differential equation and is that linear so let's look at uh, y double prime and y of that has to the first power so it is linear so yes All 
Right, next. Uh, oh, by the way, if you want to classify it because of that, this is the second order. So uh, I should have one more column for the order. So this is order two. So this is the second order because of the highest derivative. Right. Next, uh, this, when we see this notation, y derivative with, of y with respect to x, so certainly x is the dependent vari independent variable, and y is dependent variable, so y depends on x. And there's no partial derivative, and there's only one independent variable because of that. It is going to be ordinary differential equation. And is this one linear? So if we look at uh, this one, we have y to the second power. So this is not linear. So that would be no. Yeah. Just focus on y. Uh, I'm not focused on x at all when we talk about linear or not. And this is order, the highest order of derivative is 1. That is the highest order of derivative is 1. All right, next, uh, this notation, partial derivative of u with respect to x, partial derivative of u with respect to y. So clearly, uh, we have x and y are independent variables. And u depends on x and y, so u is dependent variable. Uh, it has more than one independent variables, so this is partial differential equation. And um, is that linear or not? Of course, it's irrelevant. Uh, the way we define for linearity, it is only for uh, the ordinary differential equation. But so that, yeah. And order. Uh, highest order of the derivative is 1. So that's first derivative. Right, next. Uh, independent variable. We see y prime. So y is a function of x. So x is the independent variable. And y depends on x. y depend on x and uh, only one independent variable so this is going to be ordinary differential equation and is this linear that would be no because of this so it's not linear we have uh, y it's not y to the first power if we have y by itself or y to the first power, it is linear, but um, we have sine y instead. y prime is okay. This one's linear term, but sine y is not, so it's going to be no. And the highest derivative, so this equation of order 1. All right, so uh, that's all the focus on the first section is how to classify differential equation. See you in another video in differential equation. Thank you for watching.